John with Fluidine, and in one of our last videos, we showed you how to assemble a V20 pump. In this video, we're going to show you how to change the cartridge kit displacement from a smaller one to a larger one, or vice versa, uh, whichever way direction you decide to go. Some people, they might buy a V20, and they might get a 5-gallon cartridge kit, but now they need something like a 13-gallon cartridge kit. Well, you don't necessarily have to buy a new pump. All these other parts are interchangeable. You could just change out a few of the components to get that larger displacement. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start disassembling this unit so that we can change the cartridge kit. So first thing you want to do is remove these four bolts. Now this cover is under a spring load. It's not very heavy, but it will start to rise up as you remove this other bolt here. So we'll just hold the cover down with our hand and remove that last bolt. And we'll take that out and set it aside with the other ones. And then we'll take the cover off, pressure plate spring, the O-ring, and the pressure plate. Once we get all those removed, then all that's left is taking off the old cartridge kit that you want to replace and then installing the new one. I do have another one here. This is a 13 gallon cartridge kit. So with the cartridge kit change, you may have to also change the cartridge kit pins and the bolts. Um, especially if you're going to a significantly larger size displacement. Uh, from this one, if we're going to uh, the smaller 5-gallon displacement up to a 13, all those components need to be changed. So we'll remove these two pins, the cam ring, and then the rotor and vanes. Now, some of these vanes might come out as you remove the rotor. Uh, that's fine. Just remember, the rounded side on the vane always goes towards the outside of the rotor to right against the inner cam of this ring. Okay, so once we have that removed, everything back in place there, then we'll start to install the other cartridge kit. Uh, first thing you want to do is replace the pins and then the cam ring. So this is where you're going to decide which rotation you want your pump. Just like in a previous video, it's always viewed from the shaft end on these these pumps. Uh, and they do have a, direct, a directional arrow cast into the side of the cam ring. So this one is going to be left-handed and if you want right-handed all you do is flip the cam ring over. You don't have to flip the rotor and vanes, those are bi-rotational. So once we know rotation that we want, we can go ahead and install it. And again, this is going to be left-handed. So we'll just slide that over the pins. And then the rotor and vanes, uh, we're just going to drop that back inside there. And then we can go ahead and reinstall all the other components, the pressure plate, spring, O-ring, and cover, and then bolt it back down. Uh, if you want to put a little oil in here just to pre-lube all the parts, you could do that. It's not a bad idea. So we'll slide the pressure plate on there, put the O-ring on there pressure plate spring, and then our cover. And again, this is where you can change porting position. Uh, if you don't, if originally it was opposite each other, like your inlet and your outlet are opposite, you can change it to either inline or 90 degrees either way. Uh, so this one will do porting A option, where both ports are opposite. So once we put our cover down, we'll just kind of press it down by hand to make sure everything lines up and we're not extruding any kind of the o, any of the o-rings and damaging those. And then we'll just grab one of the bolts and install that on there. And then we'll just lightly tighten it down. Once that's done, you can go ahead and install the rest of the bolts. And just lightly just lightly impact them on there or screw them down by hand, which, whichever way works best for you. And after you have everything down, everything looks like it's seating properly, then you can go ahead and torque these bolts down to 75 to 80 foot-pounds. After that, you're done and you're ready to install the pump into service. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. And if you have any questions, please call us and check in with us online.